Welcome to Football Manager. You'll experience highs, you'll experience lows, you'll sign wonder kids, you'll take Hammer and Waterloo to the Premier League, only to get sacked, then return a year later with Liverpool and give them an absolute drubbing. This is Football Manager and this is how you play on console. It doesn't matter if you're playing on Xbox, even in the cloud, it doesn't matter if you're playing on PlayStation or perhaps even the Switch or the iOS versions, they all follow the same basic template that we're going to look at today in this version. So the version I'm playing on is the cloud version, but you can just move the controls around. I'll try to tell you what the controls are for the PlayStation version so you know which buttons you're pressing if you're not pressing the same button as the Xbox version, but it'll help you get a familiarity with the game. I'll make sure there are chapter headings down below so it's easy to flip between the different sections if anything's confusing or just leave a comment on anything you're struggling with and I'll try to answer in the comments or maybe make a video on it. So when you first load up the game, it is gonna give you a little bit of information on how you control the game. You can move around with the left stick on your controller and you can use the directional buttons to just move between the different elements on the screen. So for me, it's showing me an Xbox controller, although actually I'm using a old Stadia controller, rest in peace, I never used the Stadia, I just bought it for the controller. Uh, which actually I got refunded, very nice. Anyway, you can see the controls here. Obviously, if you're playing on PlayStation, pay attention to what they're on PlayStation. The layout is basically the same, but obviously what the buttons are controlled. For example, the X button placement is obviously a bit different. It is just here on the Xbox, and it's the bottom one there on the PlayStation. But the stick actually on the Xbox is there, and the, the, the D-pad is switched, so that's the only other thing that's changed slightly, but it doesn't really matter, you know, as long as you're familiar with what buttons you're pressing on your controller you should be fine. Okay, you're gonna be asked to set up a few things now. It's gonna introduce you a little bit here to controls. I'm gonna set it to English. You can set the interface as well. You can set all kinds of things. Colorblind mode, very useful for those of us who are colorblind. I like to turn it on a little bit. So here we are, main menu. Now there are a few options for things you can do in the game. We're gonna start, this is looking at the single player. You can see, of course, if you press the bumper button, you can move to see what's online as well. A career is the most common way to play football manager. So you're gonna start with a club. You can even start unemployed and you can move between clubs of course, you're not fixed at the club you're at. And you're just going to go start playing as that team, managing that team, selling players, buying players, setting the tactic, shouting at your players, all these kind of things you would do as a foot manager. This is the most common uh, mode that uh, people play in foot manager. People playing on PC, hundreds of hours in the career mode. You don't like your career, start a new career. You can set your own challenges in the career. Very much a bit of a managerial sandbox for what you can do. If you want even more of a sandbox, of course, you can create a club. So you're gonna take a real club, you're gonna replace it. Let's say you don't want Chelsea to exist anymore for some reason. You replace them with your own made up club, Bodderingham United and you put them in the game and you put in players you want at that club and you just play it's very similar to the career except you're just playing with a made up club. I'm not really going to cover them in this video but the challenges are kind of interesting so there are a number of challenges you can do which are just like pre-set up scenarios in the game that you can play through so for example your team is in a relegation battle you can choose what team it is by the way you can have Manchester City in a relegation battle and the plan is to get them out of relegation. You can set the difficulty on these as well. There's quite a few of these. You know, there is an injury crisis one, Invincibles. So all these different challenges you can try and do to, just to improve your foot manager skills. And then in the online section, there are a few other options. Online career is the same as a single career, except you can join your friends. You can- You don't have any friends. You can send them the details, they can join online and they can jump into the career as well. Fantasy draft, I love a draft. What you do is you have a big list of players and you pick players from that list, taking in turns to pick players, you and your friends. You can even play it with AI. But if you have done fancy football drafts, NFL or you know regular, it's very much like that. You can pick players from any team and you've got a budget and you, your team has to fit within the budget. Each player can only be picked by one team. And then you play head-to-head -head matches in the in the game versus mode again head-to-head -head matches but you can choose any team you can even bring in some of your teams from career mode or you can just say i want to play as manchester united and you will go up against someone else you know your friends who've decided they're going to play as barcelona along the bottom of the screen you've got your various options you can go back in and see the preferences that we set at the start although there are extra ones that you might want interface sounds all these kinds of things team screens anything you want to change come in here and, and have a play around with it. You know, for example, when the game first loaded up for me, because I'm on the cloud version, it said it's US dollar. So I'm gonna change that to pounds. No dollars. Because pounds is much easier. And I'm gonna change the wages to monthly, because again, uh, no, even weekly, because again, that makes sense. I don't use Fahrenheit either. In fact, it's put all these in American amounts. I've gone metric, you see. So uh, we do use, my this is very confusing. We use, I'm gonna put meters and miles and match odds. Yes, fractional. You can change the date format, of course, to something again, more European. European style. So come in and, and check all these things. I've got the accessibility and the online. You can do your online settings here if you're 
deciding to play online make sure that you may set it to friends only or don't want randoms joining your game now when you first load the game you're also going to get this little notification if you press no it disappears there is a way to get it back if you accidentally do that or maybe you just want to go try this out uh, you can go into the preferences you have to reset your preferences and it will reappear next time you load the game so it just says do you consider yourself an experienced football manager i would recommend saying no and playing through the little scenario that they've got i'm not going to do it here but it does introduce you to a number of little core features in the game. So we've gone into career mode and I'm now going to choose my team. It seems to think I'm in North America because it wants to put everything in North America. But so we're going to go to Europe and we're going to go to it's again, it's put us in Austria. We're going to go we're going to go England. Um, you can see which teams are licensed and which ones aren't, of course, by the fact they have badges. You can see here in the Premier League, the two licensed teams are Brighton and Manchester City. I think we'll play should we do should we play as Manchester City? Oh, Man City. They're quite good. Yes, let's do Manchester City. Obviously, Manchester City is a very good team. If this is your first time playing, choose something you think you can do well with. Don't choose anything, any team that's going to be absolutely really going to struggle. At. In the Premier League, you're probably okay. Most teams you could probably make decent. But some teams, there will be some leagues, there'll be teams that are so underpowered that you're going to have a really, really tough time. If you want at the top, you can also start unemployed or you can do international management as well. So if you're unemployed, you're going to be applying for jobs until one of them comes up. So we're just going to go with Manchester City. You can see down the bottom here, there is another option of, you can actually just search for the club. Um, there is also the update. We you probably just want to use the most recent update, which will be the most recent transfers that they have put into the game. Obviously, we're now approaching the summer. There's been a lot of summer transfers. You unfortunately cannot get those into the game. You're going to have to wait for FM24 for that. You can also do an advanced setup. In the advanced setup, you can add extra nations if you want. So. Let's say you might consider managing in Spain or France after a season or two. Perhaps you want to add them. It's up to you. You can choose up to 10 active nations on the console version. So choose whichever ones. If you choose five or fewer, it also means that the game is compatible with the other Xbox versions if you want to take it back onto an older Xbox. So once we're done, we're going to hit the right trigger. Then we're going to press triangle or Y to start the game. So we're going to start in England as Man City with a with a small database. The database goes down to League Two. We could make it lower if we wanted. We can go all the way down to the Panorama National League South and North. One thing I will say is uh, navigating these menus takes a little bit of getting used to. One thing you can do is on the controller, click in the left stick and it will give you, instead you get a little hand if you want to prefer to do that. I actually find that a little bit easier myself. It's like a little mouse, you use the left stick to move it around. So maybe I want to create a new profile for my manager. I've got to give him a name. So we're giving him a name. We've got to choose where he's from. Of course, where you're from matters for things like international management a little bit. You know, you're more, you're more likely to get the nation of your of your home nation or also matters for languages you speak. Uh, you can change this again, foot manager experience. Say you made a mistake earlier, you can change that to no. And then you're just going to come down and put your birth. I don't know. It's, that's a little bit older than I am, although it might not look like it. And then again, the right trigger is going to be the confirm button. You're going to use the right trigger a lot to move forward in the game. So now I've got to choose what he looks like. I mean, I guess this guy, I don't know, maybe too much hair for me, but we'll go with that. And here we are. We are now manager of Manchester City. You can see I'm still using that left stick to move around again. If I click it, I can move back to using the left stick and the D-pad. There's actually nothing to move on this screen, but um, we can move this around to have a look around. Get some nice little press release things here, some social media. Most of this is like flavor story that gets you into the game. So you don't need to read it, you know, especially these social media things. Drew Devlin, he can get in the bin. Word on Drew is that he's weak in the knees. That's what I heard. What's Cole say about that? And Cole Sklander's already my biggest fan. Like this whole time, I was looking for acceptance from Cole. You Cole, look, 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 604 likes on Cole's comment. Drew, 200, 231, I'm, I'm a bit outraged at that. Anyway, we're gonna go forwards. This is just press stuff, you know, just nice story. Then you get a little bit of information about the club you are gonna join. Obviously, Manchester City expected to win the Premier League. Probably expected to do well in the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, Champions League. Tells you how big the stadiums, the empty hat is. Well, you can hear the annoyance around the empty hat. Uh, 53,400. Tells you about the training facilities. Of course, Manchester City have state of the art. Immediate prediction of first and the club is rich. A little bit of club history, you know, just a little bit of flavour again to let you know about the club. Manchester City, a club with over half a century of history. Where it has been. And as you can see, actually, it only goes back to 2001, 2002, when Manchester City got back to the Premier League. Oh, there's actually 
actually the yes the, f the first season they were in the championship and you can see what nice time they've had since so i just saved the game and now we come to the inbox the inbox is where you're going to spend most of your time reading messages that come in some of them are going to be relevant you're going to have to read through them some of them less so now there's a lot of information on here this is telling us that i've taken the job a little bit of information you know a lot of this is uh, just nice little story stuff up here is the show inbox list it also works by clicking in the right button but only when you're not when you're not on the scrolling thing so if i do it right now here we can see we've got all the emails we can see the rest of the emails we can hide it again so i'm just going to have that show and then we can check out what these other emails are so this one's saying that we've joined this one is just a little notification to tell me i've got some players that are contract we'll come back to that later we're going to start here so the board is going to come to us and tell us what they expect us to do while we are managers they want us to play attacking football these are things little things to bear in mind as we go into setting up how we play what kind of players we sign and really what we should be aiming for so entertaining possession and attacking football challenge for the champions league win the premier league challenge for the fa cup all the things you would probably expect of man city some longer term stuff at the bottom here now you can either accept it by pressing y or if you want to you can go in and negotiate add things remove things i'd recommend when you're first starting out just accept what they say normally it's pretty good you don't want to over promise anything you want to be saying we're going to be winning the champions league and the club world cup and the premier league and the fa cup he says don't be promising everything just accept that current vision for now i've accepted that now where do we go next so we've got a whole host of features here we can go forwards we can in in the days you can see we're on the 15th of july we can move forwards in the season or we could start to look around and see what we got so let's start with this screen so we've got at the top here we've got the inbox which is what we've just been looking at where we got all, all our emails the next tab along if you press the r1 or rb button takes us to the social feed this is just sort of general news that's in the game you can see again drew devlin really don't like drew devlin oh drew texted me again what a loser probably stuff you've already seen elsewhere sometimes it has rumors of transfers with other clubs do you need to visit this screen not really you can play the entire game with never visiting screens same with the news screen obviously the news right now is that i've just joined man city but you'll get other bits of news throughout the season and same with transfer window news so these are the rumors of what is happening in fact you've obviously got the done deals from last summer harland to to city is right there but as you go through in the transfer window you'll start to see some new ones coming in whole load more screens that we can view if we press the left trigger or l2 on playstation we'll get this here and this sidebar gives us a lot more options now the thing to remember is don't get overwhelmed by this i know there are a lot of things here very confusing particularly if you imagine all these tabs along the top on each one and you've got other options you've got actions over here that you can do as well so what we're going to do we're just going to go and we're going to go have a look through them so the inbox is the one we've just looked at like i said that's where you get your emails and also where you'll find the general news the home screen is just going to give you a little bit of information about things that are important to you so for example the next match the next fixtures what the board confidence is currently like and the league table is looking it's just a general home page we scroll along you can find out information about your own stats you can even edit yourself if you really like to but really you don't need to look at this screen that often if ever maybe once or twice a season you don't you know your ha your attributes are more managed by how you play the game than um, affecting the game and you can resign or retire as well if you've had enough of the team you're at your contract it tells how much you are being paid now when it comes around to wanting a new contract you're obviously going to have to come here and request a new contract in that second tab there so you notice just underneath this bar at the top there is a second option here for requesting a new contract but you know we've got a few seasons on it we've got three seasons we don't need to be requesting a new contract just yet promises if you've promised anything to the board or players they will appear here the history you can see well we've only had one job but as you start to fill this out it's just a nice little bit of information go through have a look see how much money you've spent and again your manager timeline just a little bit of history about you so that covers the home screen and the inbox all the information you sort of want about what's going on in the world so hopefully that helps you get started in foot magic the next part is going to cover the squad section and everything to do with your squad and if it's already out it's going to be appearing here on your screen now so make sure you click that go on click it if it's not it will take you to another good guide anyway just go there now